sad right now. I'm so sad, guys. I'm really trying to hang in here. But I'm in so much pain. And I don't want to be taking pain pills ever. And I know I won't. But it's so discouraging. And they don't know what's wrong with me. I got all this swelling. I don't know if you can see it on my neck right here. It hurts so bad. My neck right here. I don't know if you can see it. But it hurts when I swallow. And I just feel like my life. Oh. I just feel like my life is behold. I can only get around and for a little while before I started hurting. And I'll take a pain pill and it's not lasting that long. I just don't want to know what's wrong. And I'm just praying and asking God to heal me. Because I think sometimes people think that I'm lying or like I'm playing. Nobody wants to be sick forever. And it just put a lot on hold for me right now. I wanted to vlog my feelings, record this tonight. I just felt like I needed to get it out, but my roommate's not feeling good. I want to get my hair done. She usually does it, and it hurts for me to depending on what I've done for the day or whatever it hurts and my neck's be so swollen and sore I'm really kind of skeptical about going to somebody else because I'm so used to her doing it and she's not you know she's not getting any better she is but these little stroke symptoms are starting to get worse on her and I'm just worried. I don't know. I don't really know what to look for at a pain clinic. I don't know what they, what all they do or what kind of medicine I don't just don't know what they can do that my doctor had done. It's just sort of discouraging and disheartening and then right at the holidays. I just feel so handicapped. And my neck is just hurts so bad. And all up the back of my back of my neck up into my head it hurts really bad but um I feel so lonely in this pain and what I'm going through because nobody knows what it is you know, nobody's been through it that I know of, even the doctor, I asked him, she thought she's never seen anything like this. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm gonna try to live with it until God I will live with it I'm not going to try but I'm going to press beyond this because I know I serve a God that's great and he's able to do all things I don't know why he's allowed this to affliction to 
come upon me. But I know he said he won't put no more in me than I can bear. He didn't say I wouldn't cry through it. He didn't say I wouldn't hurt through it. But he did promise it wasn't going to break me. So I know this is not going to break me mentally. And I'm just having a moment. I wanted to record this. I didn't know what I was going to say when I picked up the camera. But I do thank y'all for praying for me. I really do. You guys really encourage me and everything. I'm just, I'm like, I'm so in so much pain right now. And I, I have to go, but I'm going to have to put some heat on my neck. And it's like every night. And I just feel so lonely. <sighs> I think I'd have felt better if I'd have known what it was. Or if it was something. But sometimes it's not knowing it can be worse. Guys, I'm going to go now. Good night. God bless all of you. Thank you for praying for me. Bye, guys.